Yeah, 2016 has basically sucked. And if you're watching this in 2016, you probably already know why. There's been a lot of unhappiness this year. But on a more personal note, something which no one listening already knows about, is that the company that I work for had big layoffs at the beginning of the year, in January. You know, get the year off on the right foot. These were the first big layoffs that our company experienced since I worked there almost 10 years, and apparently the only the second layoffs they've ever had ever. So it was kind of um, traumatic for our entire company. I still have a job there, which is good because I'm too lazy to get another job and I don't really know what I would do anyway. But um, it's been strange. But yeah, kind of a terrible way to start the year. I've spent like the last six months in like depression coma. And I'm one of the people who like kept their stupid job. But unsurprisingly, I was uncertain if in this new strange world there would be the summer reading program, given that the layoffs were financially motivated and also everyone is like totally kind of strange and shell-shocked still after most of... So many people are, are gone. And also because, you know, work events are kind of strange now. I don't know, I thought they were strange before, but... Still, it appears we are having our, our delightful summer reading program again this year, affording me another opportunity to hate-read a whole bunch of self-help and leadership manuals. And I can always use an extra 200 bucks, so... Not obvious, because I always want to learn how to think different, curate ideas, and predict the future. Uh, less promising is that it features 15 new business trends. That sounds less like the kind of thing I want to read. Second up is Mindfire, Big Ideas for Curious Minds, which is great because I like to think I have a curious mind. And also, I always want my mind to be on fire. And finally, the first year I've managed to get my hands on this one, Moonwalking with Einstein. And I really wanted to pick up this one. Not necessarily because I actually think I can improve my terrible memory. If, if there's a secret to having a good memory, I will forget what that secret is. The first time I saw this book was not on company shelves. It was like in a store full of like brainy smart kid special toys and stuff like that. And I was curious about it at the time. So this is more like I'm finally reading a book that I'm curious about than I am randomly picking a self-help book off a shelf to torment myself with. Uh, full disclosure, I also have a new computer since last summer, and it's a laptop, and I have not tested out its editing capabilities. It's still got iMovie on it, so it's not going to be great anyway, but it might be worse due to the, the lower, smaller screen. But I also actually now have a gaming laptop that was a hand-me-down gift from a very generous person who was upgrading their computer because they wanted to play with VR. So that runs Windows. So I may actually have the opportunity to play with other editing software. So, you know, if you're seeing some actual, like, quick cuts, bam, 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 kind of thing, that's not iMovie because iMovie can't do that because iMovie sucks. I was spoiled learning how to edit in, in Final Cut 7. All I want in editing is to be able to like break away the sound and to use a razor tool. I'm not even good at Final Cut 7. I just need that razor tool so bad. What the fuck was I even talking about? Oh yeah, everything sucks. <laughs> I'll see you all this summer. May your summer, fall, winter, and the remainder of this miserable 2016 improve exponentially for all of us. Until next time. I don't know if you can tell, but I still don't have a tripod.